So today we are talking about ADM visibility in SASE IE and incidents. So we are introducing a new navigation experience, which is integrating multiple visibility tools and gives you a unified monitoring experience. What we have today is a product centric. So if you're using ADAM, you log into Hub, Prisma Access Insights app, you will see on the left pan all this information, which is the product centric. You can see the different product names, insights, ADAM, uh, Manage is the cloud management console <clears throat> activity and alerts. So, so we are changing this product centric view to a different and new navigation experience. So you will be having the objects where users are interested in getting information about with text application users branch sites. Prism access locations, data centers. So making left navigation from product centric to object centric, it makes easy for you to see and, uh, and monitor all information which is related to Prism access insights, ADM, uh, alert information for a given object. So this is, <clears throat> our uh, SASE visibility analytics licensing tiers. Prisma Access Insights, as you are already aware, it gives you the visibility about the health connectivity and uses of Prisma Access deployments. And this is available for all Prisma Access customers. Then we have Prisma Access Add-on, uh, which required an add-on license for Prisma Access Add-on visibility, which gives you segment-wise insights from user to application uh, it helps you detect and isolate segments impacting the user experience. And now we are also introducing ADAM AIOps, which required uh, ADAM powered by AIOps license, which gives you the faster remediation by automating IT operations, predictive analytics forecast, capacity utilization. And we will be discussing ADM area ops in our upcoming uh, session. So please, I would highly encourage you to register for that session. Today, we are talking about ADM enhanced visibility with ADM and what are the changes we have uh, made in terms of navigation uh, or introducing a new features and dashboards. So this explains the different features which we have used in the each license tier. Uh, Prism Access Insights, and we have detailed discussion uh, in one of our earlier session on Prism Access Insights, where we talk about the unified SASE monitoring, uh, about the different dashboards, how we are switching from Insights to unified monitoring. So uh, if you have missed that session, I would encourage you to please watch the recording. Um, Airdam Observability where we have a lot of great new features, which includes a global summary dashboard for app experience and SLA management, uh, incident notification for app availability and degradation experience, Zoom integration. In one of our previous sessions, we have talked about uh, Zoom integration with ADAM and ADAM AI Ops, which is, a, uh, which is the latest and all these new features have been introduced. Let's talk about functionality migration for the existing products. So <clears throat> you have been using the ADAM, if you are using the ADAM or if you're new to the ADAM. So this is the ADAM. If you log into the ADAM and go to the, this is how it looks like, for example, so from the left hand, you see the summary dashboard and application mobile users dashboard. Summary dashboard makes you visibility uh, or give you the visibility of on all the application experience dashboards. You can monitor the digital experience of users, remote users in your SASE environment and quickly access if there's any network wide or system wide issues you should be looking into. So we are introducing this change. Now this dashboard will be visible in the starter cloud manager under the dashboard application experience. So you can 
access this dashboard by logging into the Starter Cloud Manager on our hub, apps.palartonetworks.com. Then <clears throat> from the Starter Cloud Manager dashboard, you can go to more dashboard and ex application experience. You can see this dashboard. So this dashboard meant to give you an overall view of the experience across all users, remote sites, application, and is um, aggregate data across all the entire organization. You can select different time range to view the data for only the time window you've selected. Uh, you will see this, the information is similar to the summary dashboard with a few differences. And one of them is uh, you will see we, that there's a performance matrix being added in the, uh, there under this experience score trends for users. And another one is you will see that the change indicator uh, in score with the, uh, the number and percentage sign and it's a sign which shows that if the score is going up or score is going down. Another dashboard is application dashboard where you can monitor overall user experience for all the application uh, in your SaaS environment. So you can now with the new change, you can select the monitor application. Again, the starter cloud manager, you will go the starter cloud manager under the monitor, you will see the monitor application where you can see application in your organization, which are monitored. You can see the risk scores and the user experience for each application. As well as you can also see the total data transfer, Prisma access applications, and details about individual application. The total data transfer shows the total data transfer across the Prisma access firewalls using during the time range selected. You can use the addition filter, uh, drop down filters options. So data transfer application category, you can see which shows the top application for total data transfer. Then there's a Prisma access applications. You can use this widget to see which applications are being monitored with the synthetics test running on them. This table also displays the experience score which gives you the health of each application. Uh, you can click on the manage test button to view all the synthetic tests that have been set up for all your applications. You can select any application from this table to view general details, such as status, category, subcategory, uh, ports, risk score, um, total threats types, total users, and data transfer. You can view all the application tests that have been running on your mobile user um, device. <clears throat> As I mentioned in the previous slides, you can click on the manage test and you can see all the application tests that are running on your mobile user devices or remote sites. You can edit a synthetic test uh, for an app and you, you can click on application test name and then you can add it the test. In the ADAM uh, application test, you can view all the application tests which are on your mobile user devices, as I mentioned, by clicking on the manage test. So, ADA mobile users. Uh, so in the, uh, in, the, in the Prisma Access, what we use is refers to as the users that connects the Prisma Access security services either through the global protect agent or devices or through the express proxy through a web browser. 
Um, so in the Starter Cloud Manager, you can select the monitor users to view the user dashboard. Earlier, it was a mobile user dashboard where you can you see all the mobile users monitored, their overall stats, different users. So this view now will be accessible in the monitor dashboard in the mobile users where you can see. You can view the total number of users being monitored by the ADAM. You can view the global protect users and devices are using to connect. Uh, you can see the IP utilization. It will also display the view of the, and this view of the digital uh, details on each device. You can select any mobile user's name to view the details about the users. And you can also download this current data from the users or devices uh, table. You can download this, all the information. ADM self-serve, uh, this self-serve feature allows mobile users to get alerted for a performance and experience issue that are identified in the environment. Based on the recommendation in the notification that they receive on their desktops <clears throat> or, or endpoints, um, users can resolve the problem within their purview before contacting the, their IT administrator. Self-serve helps reduce the number of IT tickets that the users <clears throat> need to open. So this dashboard has changed from the mobile user dashboard um, in ADAM to monitor user dashboard. So self-serve feature now it will be available to the monitor user dashboard. You can see once you click on the mobile user dashboard and connected user, the self-serve feature will be available here. And you can, once you click on the self-serve feature, you can get all the self-serve notification types. You can add it, uh, all this uh, notification types, notification networking, notification, CP notification. You can select a number of users for where you want to enable self-serve notification or groups. ADM remote sites. <clears throat> so before I talk about the remote sites, so this is very important that ADM site application experience scores are only available with the Prisma Steve and remote sites. So if you have, uh, you don't know, if you're not using Prisma Steve and you cannot. So <clears throat> ADM remote sites in, in, the, in the ADM earlier, we have a remote sites dashboard now, which is being changed in the monitor on the branch sites. Where we have the Prisma Access and SD WAN, so you can get all the details. So you can select a uh, monitor branch sites in the Prisma Access to view the health and connectivity of your remote networks and use it for all your remote networks deployed in different Prisma Access locations. Uh, this dashboard will show the real time connectivity status and bandwidth consumption details, along with other deployment details mobile users, branch offices, and a retail location connect to remote networks. You can also view the health of the tunnels uh, in your remote networks. In addition, this widget will also display the Prisma Access licensing information and um, SD-WAN branch site details as well. Uh, you can see here the IPsec termination node utilization, the bandwidth consumption for ESPN as well. <clears throat> the Prisma Access Location page gives metrics about the digital experience from each Prisma Access Location during this time range. So because uh, ADM service performs synthetic network and application testing from each of your Prisma Access Location to all monitored application, you can quickly isolate and correlate performance for issues with application in a specific Prisma Access Location. So uh, earlier we had a Prisma Access Location dashboard in the ELM. Now this dashboard will be changing in the, uh, to the Prisma Access Location dashboard in Monitor, where you can see the health of your all Prisma Access Location for your remote networks, mobile users. You can see top five Prisma Access Locations for remote networks, service connection, 
executable protectable users or explicit proxy users. Uh, you can view the Prism access location status, Cortex data link connectivity. Uh, and in this Prism access location tab, you can see here all the Prism access location and you can select any individual location name to get the more granular information on for each location. Adam settings dashboard has been changed again under the knowledge. Uh, you can see here application experience and the settings. So in the starter cloud manager, you will go to the settings dashboard, which will have uh, application experience in the application experience uh, from where you can manage your Adam users and remote sites and see the licensing details, how many users and tests are available, and how many have been used. You can go to settings in the cloud manager uh, from where you can see all the information. So in the in the previous versions, uh, license information was available uh, visible in under the settings dashboard. But in Startup Cloud Manager, we have separated this dashboard for subscription usage, where you can see all the Prisma access licensing information. You can select monitor subscription usage to view the details about the Prisma access based subscription, uh, which will include your mobile users, licensing information, brand sites, uh, subscription usage of your service connections. And also you can see the add-on subscription section in on this page which shows the additional licenses that you have purchased, such as autonomous digital experience management license for mobile users or remote networks. You can see total number of licenses purchased as well as number of licenses consumed, unconsumed so far. You can view application tests for mobile users, monitoring the number of application tests left that you can create. Applications that are, um, tests are determined by the number of monitored mobile users with up to 10 app tests allowed per mobile. Application experience incidents. With Adam, you can stay informed with the application reachability and regression experience with proactive incident. It will help you to quickly identify the the radius of its widespread or regional issues. You can proactively notify the impact of users to avoid any support cases or escalations. And you can communicate to the root cause to the vendors with the confidence. And it's, here it explains the, the different application usability and experience issues with proactive incidents. So if the application is unreachable for a specific Prism access location, which may be a regional issue, the experience score will be zero and sustained for 10 minutes. These conditions will be clear if the experience score is greater than zero and sustained for 15 minutes. Similarly, it will be uh, for Global issue if there is any Prisma access uh, application is unreachable for a Prisma access location, which is then made up in a global issue. If application degradation experience for specific Prisma access location, a critical issue, the experience score is less than 45 but greater than zero and sustained for 10 minutes. This condition will be clear if the score is greater than 45 minutes and sustained for 15 minutes. And similarly, if it's a global issue, the score is less than 45 and greater than zero, and sustained for 10 minutes. And then it will um, alert you and conditions will be clear if score is greater than 45, sustained for 15 minutes. Global summary dashboard for application SLA management. Here we 
And here we can see that on our, on our musician-wide dashboard that aggregates call performance and the root cause data across all the users in a customer's organization. Adam is re reporting performance by minute. We all know that Zoom is a remarkably resilient product. Zoom's applications layer, QoS, adapts network conditions to ensure that call quality is minimally impacted. Here we can see that only 1% of the call minutes are poor performing. This enables Zoom admins to much more accurately report the success of a Zoom deployment. So we have Zoom and ADAM integration. Uh, we have covered in one of our previous uh, webinar. So if you want to uh, know about the ADAM Zoom integration feature and how to enable the Zoom uh, for ADAM, you can always watch the recording. <clears throat> you can always quickly identify the applications having if having degrading experience with the root cause analysis. Um, it helps you identify the scope of impact, global versus regional. Uh, you can report an impact in prism access location, users, and the root cause with ease of the confidence. And this ends up our session for today.